We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time, even if they would never say those things. So, uh, for instance, they could have me say things like, uh, I don't know, uh, Killmonger was right, or uh, Ben Carson is in the sunken place, or how about this, simply, President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. Now, you see, I would never say these things, at least not in a public address, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. This is a dangerous time. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. That's a time when we need to rely on trusted news sources. It may sound basic, but how we move forward in the age of information is going to be the difference between whether we survive or whether we become some kind of fucked up dystopia. Thank you. And stay woke, bitches. Where there is innovation, there is masturbation, at least in one side of the internet, where nearly 70,000 people have united to share counterfeit videos of celebrity women having sex and Nick Cage uncovering the Ark of Covenant. And the video you just watched before is an example of the rise of a notorious AI algorithm called Deepfakes. So what are Deepfakes? So as I said earlier, Deepfakes is an AI algorithm that is able to swap the faces of anyone in a video to anyone else. It seems so intimidating, but let me show you some examples. This is the original video of Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones. And this is the changed version using deepfakes. This is another video where the face of Lois Lane is swapped with the face of Nicolas Cage and the examples goes on. There used to be a popular saying, the camera cannot lie. Maybe we should reconsider this after seeing the deepfakes. So when this picture was taken originally, it didn't have the Acme logo on it. It was put on digitally and it can be removed just as easily. Drops of water can be put in the space left by the erased logo by simply picking up existing drops of water and duplicating them a few centimeters away. The potential for the system goes a lot further than that. Operators say they can take a group photograph, for instance, and rearrange the people's heads on different shoulders in such perfect detail it would be impossible to tell a change had been made. It makes you wonder. A picture may still be worth a thousand words, but what about that old saying, the camera never lies? A couple of months back, a Redditor named Deepfakes was making a name for himself by posting promising videos that swapped the face of the person in the original video with a famous celebrity like Emma Watson. He was able to do this by training his deep learning algorithm on some openly available videos with just his computer and the output of this has been a massive hit. Before deepfakes, you have probably seen the basic system at work. It's what powers those insane Snapchat and Instagram filters where you can have the googly eyes or a demon face. The technology behind these filters is face detection. Snapchat trained their system on thousands of faces that were manually marked with points to show the borders of lips, eyes, nose and face. The trained application can then take a point mask and shift it to match your individual face based on the data that it's getting from your camera. So you'll be wondering how to make these deepfakes. There's a desktop application called Fake App, which lets you create your own deepfakes without having any knowledge of coding. For instance, you want to swap the face of Louis Lane in Superman film with the face of Nicolas Cage. Well, the first step is to select your source video and then find the huge range of images of Amy Adams who played Louis Lane and also a huge range of Nicolas Cage. All of the images that we have collected together served as the AI's training data. The app itself has an automatic script that downloads all the images at once for you. 
The second step is to get rid of the parts of the images that we don't want like objects in the scene. The third step is just let the AI do its thing. A neural network model gets to work learning how to recreate a given face from the images it has. The network then outputs the score detailing the amount of error there is within the transformations. When the score is relatively low, voila, you've got a good quality deep fake. Now that it's possible to map one face onto another face in real time videos using just images. After all, a video is just a collection of rapidly changing images at around 24 to 30 times a second. So all this makes sense when you think about it. Up to this point, everything works fine. But there are some dark side of this technology. Unsurprisingly, there's been a lot of fake adult content created or existing porn scenes have celebrity faces imposed. All you need to do is to find an actress with a similar build and then most of the work is done by the algorithms. The adult sector was one of the biggest driving forces behind the recent huge of fake videos. However, arguably the biggest danger we face is in politics. At an Adobe conference in 2016, Juhu Jin introduced Voco. This tool was just like Photoshop for audio. It uses a learning algorithm to analyze the speech pattern and convert it into text. With just 40 minutes of speech, it will have examples of almost every sound of that voice in that languages. Just look at this one. It's actually easy. We can just type the word dogs here. And? And uh, uh, I kiss my wife and my dogs. Whoa. Here's more, here's more. Uh, we can actually type something that's not here. So let's remove the word my here and uh, just uh, type the word Jordan. And uh, uh, I kiss Jordan and my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> We're not just going to do with words, we can actually type small phrases. So let's say, okay, so we remove those words and we do three times. <laughs> oh! <laughs> And play back. And uh, uh, I kissed Jordan three times. <laughs> oh! So that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts on deepfakes and do not forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, peace out. We've been acting up for days, nothing to deny. Tell you